Foreign ministers, including Russia's Sergei Lavrov and the U.S.'s John Kerry, met at the U.N. General Assembly to discuss how to extend a fragile truce in Syria. But just hours after the meeting, the Obama administration accused Russia of responsibility for Monday's airstrike on a U.N. aid convoy, which shattered the peace agreement. All of our information uh, indicates clearly that this was an airstrike. Um, that means there only could have been uh, two uh, entities responsible, either the Syrian regime uh, or the Russian government. Uh, in any event, we hold the Russian government responsible for airstrikes in this space, given that um, their commitment under the uh, cessation of hostilities uh, was to uh, certainly um, uh, ground um, air operations in places where humanitarian assistance is uh, flowing. But Russia deny involvement. They say instead that it was these rebels who destroyed the convoy, from the ground and not the air. They say this drone footage, released by the Russian Defense Ministry, shows a pickup truck and a heavy mortar weapon belonging to rebels who were behind the attack. Since this attack, which destroyed 18 vehicles and killed around 20 civilians, the UN has stopped all aid convoys to Syria. The UN Security Council will meet on Wednesday to discuss the situation.